in a, creating a hit song workshop, generally we like to have an hour to work with the children. And in that hour, what we try to do is um, open with a song to get them sort of comfortable. We then show them um, song structure. Uh, defining the difference between a verse and a chorus, main idea and supporting details. We talk about where ideas for songs come from. And uh, sometimes it can be just by looking around the room. Once we pick an idea, we do some brainstorming or as some teachers like to say, some pre-writing activities of just, you know, what are thoughts and feelings that come up about this idea. And then we start to shape them, some of those into a lyric and start to see you know, the theme evolving um, and, and the details that we want to include. That's usually the time when I pick up the guitar. Exactly. Because we're looking to show them about different musical styles and how they set, how we can set a lyric into different musical styles, like the blues, like rap, like rock. They might know some of those styles, but maybe they don't know about reggae. So they get to see the choices that, that, again, every art form is about the choices that we make. So we're choosing what we want to write about, we're choosing the style, and then we decide which style makes the most sense for, for the thoughts and the feelings that we want to share. And then once we kind of pick the style that works best for what we've been writing, uh, we get the kids together and we record them singing their song. We're on board. When uh, it's complete and we've worked with all the groups, we then uh, produce a CD of each class's work so that the children get to hear not only what their class created, uh, but also what all the other groups in the school have created. And uh, most recently, we've actually been giving the CDs to every child uh, in the classroom because they were so excited about what they'd done, they wanted to take it home and share it and have it as a keepsake. In fact, uh, a lot of schools are now uh putting their songs on the web or on podcasts so there's a way to show the community and be proud of the work that they've created. Creating a hit song and creating a school song are both collaborative efforts so that one child in a classroom who might have what they might think is even a silly or goofy off-the-wall idea, which we encourage, <laughs> when the other children are in active listening mode to one another the teachers are in listening mode with one another, they might pick up something from that child's idea, especially the silly one sometimes, and it will end up being something that ends up in the song because it's so unique, it's so special. And uh, to be able to hear one another, hear one another saying those things is the essence of collaboration. I think what surprised me most about the hit song program is how many times teachers have told us, you know that child that gave you all those great ideas for the song? He's my biggest struggler. Or, boy, that little one who you couldn't get to stop talking, she never says a word in class. Uh, it's been amazing to me how this process draws out something from kids who are sometimes ordinarily shy or, or hesitant to share or, um, it's just, it's, it's a way that, that, that connects them to writing. And sometimes the kids who are, are repelled by it in a classroom setting are the ones who, who, who just drink it up um, in, in amazing ways.